Okay, welcome back. Number six now from the paper two of the February March 2020 International GCSE Cambridge paper. The table shows the marks scored by 40 students in a test. Calculate the mean mark. So, what does this mean? This is a frequency table. What it means is there were eight students who got a mark of five, and five students got a mark of six, and 11 students got a mark of seven, and so on and so forth. So one of the things um, that will be important, I mean, a lot of students just memorize what to do. Oh, five times eight, plus six times five, plus seven times 11, plus eight times seven, plus nine times five, plus 10 times four, and they know exactly what to do, then divide by the number of students, which is 40, and you've got your mean mark, very simple question. But some people don't actually understand what's going on. They just memorize how to get the answer. And sometimes you get questions, especially in paper four, where it kind of tests your understanding of the topic, where you have some things that are unknown, um, so it's important for you to have some understanding rather than just memorize uh, a method of how to do it. So I'm just going to go into, um, as I said, a bit of detail. So some of these questions you might find I'm going into, you might find it's unnecessary detail. Okay, you can just skip to the answer or you can look at the mark scheme. I'm making these videos to try to help people understand who, you know, um, might have some difficulty understanding certain concept so that's why i'm trying to make these videos to break it down and make it simple for people so that they'll understand so what i'm going to show you is i'm going to start writing down what this data would look like before it was put into a frequency table so for example you would have found in the data that the number five occurred eight times so you'd, you'd have a five eight times okay of course you don't have to do this to answer the question that's three, six, eight. Okay, and you'd see that the number six occurred five times. You'll have a six and a six and a six and a six and a six, five times. And then you'd have the number seven occurring 11 times. I'm not going to write them all down. I'm just going to, I think you got the idea now, right? So when we're finding the mean, now the mean is the sum of all the entries divided by the number of entries. Okay, so if we were to list all of these numbers down, so we, if we write down the 11 sevens and the 7-8s seven and then 5 nines and the 4 tens, we would have written down altogether 40 numbers. And that's what this frequency would add up to if you added it together. All right, that's it's going to be like that's 12 plus 8, 20 um, plus 19. That's going to give you uh, 40. All right, so basically the sum of all the entries is the the number of entries is 40 and the sum of all the entries is what we need to find and divide by 40 because the mean is equal to the sum of entries divided by the number of entries okay excuse my bad writing i'm writing too quickly here the sum of entries let me write it a bit neater so the mean is the sum of entries divided by the number of entries okay so the sum of the entries is going to be basically 5 plus 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 5, plus five. as we know that's 8 5 so we can write that as 8 times 5 plus then we got the sum of all the sixes. So if you can see here, how many sixes do we have? We have five sixes. So that's five times six. Plus we have 11 times seven. Plus we have seven eights. Plus we have five nines. And we have four tens. Plus four times 10. And all of that is divided by the number of entries which because they told us here it's 40, we can just write 40 down. If they didn't tell us, if they say the table shows a mark scored by some students in a test, then we would have to add the frequencies together to give us the 40. So now we've got this little um, sum to do. And you just be very careful when you enter this in your calculator because it's very easy to lose marks in this type of question by making uh, a little entry error. So you're going to put my fraction, I'll put 8 times 5, which is, we know it's 40, plus 5 times 6, which we know is 30, plus 11 times 7, which we know is 77, plus 7 times 8, which we know is 56, 
plus 5 times 9, which we know is 45, uh, plus 4 times 10, which we know is 40. Okay, I'll just write it all out here. And that's all divided by the total, which is 40. So let's see if we've made any mistakes in entering. It's very easy to make a mistake. So you've got 4 times 10, there's a plus, 5 times 9, there's a plus, 7 times 8, there's a plus, and you've got 11 times 7, and there's a plus, and you've got 5 times 6, and there's a plus, and you've got 8 times 5. So now it looks like everything's done correctly. Press equals. We get 36 over 5, which is 7.2. So 7.2, and there's the answer is 7.2. Write the answer in the answer space. There's no rounding needed. It's an exact answer. And even though there's no mark of 7.2, you write down the mean as 7.2. You don't round it down to, oh, because there's no 7.2s here. The mean, mean mark can have a decimal value. Even the mean number of children that people have, whatever, it can be a decimal value. There's no problem. Um, it's used to compare different sets of data. So, you know, if the mean is higher, you know, it gives some more detailed information. So it doesn't matter if it's a decimal, don't round it down. Okay, so there's the answer for question number six. Thank you for watching. And if you would like to watch other questions from this paper, click on this icon over here. If you'd like to watch uh, questions from the topic of statistics, click on the icon over here. If you'd like to go to the paper four, click on the card at the top here, which says I, click on it, it'll take you to the paper four playlist. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, click over here. I'll see you in the next video.